It is evening and you decided to go for a quick walk, but then you spot something. As you look into the night sky, a ginormous comet gracefully passing by Earth, leaving a trail of cosmic beauty in its wake. You wanted to take a photo until... <coughs> but seriously, wouldn't that be just breathtaking? Well, guess what? This year you have the chance to witness such wonders without any specialized equipment. But not only that, throughout the entire year 2024, you will be able to witness incredible astronomical events, which are even more insane. So get ready to witness the 15 most spectacular astronomical events that will leave you in awe. To see the first event, you will need to make some time for it. I am talking about the Messier Marathon, because the best night for the Messier Marathon each year typically happens at the new moon between March and early April, due to the Earth's planetary position in our annual orbit. In 2024, the new moon will be on March. But what the hell is a Messier Marathon? A Messier Marathon is an attempt, usually organized by amateur astronomers, to find as many Messier objects as possible during one night. The Messier catalog was compiled by French astronomer Charles Messier during the late 18th century and consists over 100 relatively bright deep sky objects, including galaxies, nebulae, and star clusters. On March 21st, our neighboring planet Venus will pass close to Saturn in the constellation Aquarius, creating a wonderful view in the sky. From the southern hemisphere, look for the objects in the morning about an hour before sunrise. They will be visible low above the eastern horizon. In the northern hemisphere, the planets will be too close to the eastern horizon, rising just before sunrise. Unfortunately, the chances of seeing this conjunction from northern latitudes aren't that high. On April 8th, a total solar eclipse will cross North America, passing over Mexico, the United States, and Canada. A total solar eclipse happens when the moon passes between the sun and earth, completely blocking the face of the sun. The sky will darken as if it were dawn or dusk. The last total solar eclipse visible in the continental United States took place in 2017, and the next one will not take place until 2045. However, except during the brief total phase of a total solar eclipse, when the moon completely blocks the sun's bright face, it is not safe to look directly at the sun without specialized eye protection for solar viewing. On April 22nd, you can witness the peak of the Lyrids meteor shower. This meteor shower is an average one, but produces about 20 intense meteors per hour at its peak. Throughout this video, I will introduce you to even crazier meteor showers, but the following tips apply to all, so I will mention them only once now. Find a secluded viewing spot, away from the city lights. Once at the place, your eyes may take a couple of minutes to get used to the dark. Dress for the weather and make sure you are comfortable, especially if you plan to stay out long. Bring a blanket or a comfortable chair with you. Meteor watching can be a waiting game, but it is worth to 100%. Once you have found your viewing spot, lie down on the ground and look at the sky. You have to find the direction of the radiant. For that, you should follow me on Instagram or TikTok because I post videos in a timely manner for each astronomical event in every month, telling you everything you need to know. However, the following rule generally applies. The higher the radiant is above the horizon, the more meteors you are likely to see. Meteor showers appear to originate from the radiant, but they can appear in any part of the sky. On the night of August 12th and the morning of the 13th, the Perseid meteor shower will reach its peak. This is one of the best meteor showers to observe, potentially producing as many as 100 meteors per hour under the right conditions. The Perseids are famous for producing numerous bright meteors. The first quarter moon will block out some of the fainter meteors in the early evening, but the moon will set shortly after midnight leaving dark skies for what could be an excellent early morning show. Meteors will radiate from the constellation Perseus, but can appear anywhere in the sky. On August 14th, the reddish Mars will meet the bright Jupiter. This beautiful duo will be visible to the naked eye in the constellation Taurus. Considering the brightness of both planets, the distance between them and their visibility, this conjunction can be considered the best of the year. From the northern hemisphere, Mars and Jupiter will be visible from about midnight until morning, rising high above the eastern horizon. In the southern hemisphere, the planets will rise in the northeast in the morning, a few hours before sunrise. On the late August mornings, you will be able to see a major part of our solar system with your naked eye. By the late August days, you have probably already seen Jupiter and Mars in the morning sky coming off their conjunction in mid-August. You have also probably spotted Saturn too, farther to the west. But in late August, there are six planets in the morning sky. Mercury will be rising before the sun. The later in the month you look, the better your chance to see it, creeping up from the eastern horizon. Uranus and Neptune will require optical aid and finder charts. On September 8th, 
Saturn will be at opposition, the ringed planet will be at its closest approach to Earth, and its face will be fully illuminated by the Sun. Saturn will be brighter than at any other time of the year and will be visible all night long. This is the best time to view and photograph Saturn and its moons. A medium-sized or larger telescope will allow you to see Saturn's rings and a few of its brightest moons. To the naked eye, it will appear as a yellowish dot. For a few days around the opposition, the observers may notice an unusual brightening of Saturn's rings, known as the Seeliger effect. During opposition, the Sun shines directly at Saturn from our vantage point, so the planet and its rings' particles are fully illuminated and cast no shadows. Moreover, the sunlight interacts with the particles in the planet's rings and reflects many times, making the rings look even brighter. On September 17th, a partial lunar eclipse will occur when the moon passes through the Earth's partial shadow, with only a portion of it crossing through the darkest shadow. The eclipse will be visible throughout most of North America, Mexico, Central America, South America, the Atlantic Ocean, and most of Europe and Africa. By the way, solar eclipses can only happen at new moon because the moon passes between the sun and Earth during that moon phase. On October 2nd, an annular solar eclipse will occur in South America. They occur when the moon is too far away from the Earth to completely cover the Sun. This results in a ring of light around the darkened moon, which is also known as the Ring of Fire. The eclipse path will begin in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of South America and move across parts of southern Chile and Argentina. The maximum duration of annularity for this eclipse will be 7 minutes and 25 seconds. On October 8th, the Draconids meteor shower will have its peak. The Draconids is an unusual shower in that the best viewing is in the early evening instead of early morning like most other showers. The second quarter quarter moon will ensure dark skies in the early evening for what could be a good show. During these meteor storms, thousands of meteors were spotted every hour, according to the United Kingdom Meteor Network. Due to the Draconids being a variable meteor shower, nobody has made predictions for 2024 yet, so keep your ears peeled for news as we get closer to the day. In recent years, the Draconids have been relatively quiet, producing few meteors and no notable outbursts of activity. On October 12th, the comet named C2023A3 will be at its closest approach to Earth. First of all, this is my personal favorite event of the year because this comet is expected to develop a beautiful cometary tail. This phenomenon is known to occur in comets that pass near the Sun, and it is no exception. Moreover, the comet will provide a stunning celestial display, favoring the Northern Hemisphere, making it perfectly visible there. The last time such a bright comet was visible from the northern latitudes was in 1997 with Comet Hale Bop. It will be visible as an evening object until the end of the month. However, the comet is expected to fade rapidly, and by mid-November, it will no longer be visible to the naked eye, requiring binoculars or telescopes for observation. On October 17th, the Hunter supermoon will occur. That means the moon will be located on the opposite side of the Earth from the Sun, and its face will be fully illuminated. This full moon was known by early Native American tribes as the Hunter's Moon because at this time of year the leaves are falling and the game is fat and ready to hunt. This moon has also been known as the Blood Moon. This is the second of three supermoons for 2024 which means that our natural satellite will be near its closest approach to the Earth and may look slightly larger and brighter than usual. On December 7th, the largest planet in the solar system is at opposition. The giant planet will be at its closest approach to Earth and its face will be fully illuminated by the Sun. It will be brighter than any other time of the year and will be visible all night long. This is the best time to view and photograph Jupiter and its moons. A medium-sized telescope should be able to show you some of the details in Jupiter's cloud bands. A good pair of binoculars should allow you to see Jupiter's four largest moons appearing as bright dots on either side of the planet. And last but not least, on the night of December 13th and morning of the 14th, the king of the meteor showers will have its peak. It is considered by many to be the best shower in the heavens, producing up to 120 multicolored meteors per hour. The nearly full moon will block out all but the brightest meteors this year. But if you are patient, you may still be able to catch a few good ones. Best viewing will be from a dark location after midnight. Meteors will radiate from the constellation Gemini, but can appear anywhere in the sky. Thank you for joining me on this fascinating journey throughout the best astronomical events of the year 2024. If you enjoyed learning about those events, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more space content. Which of the mentioned astronomical events are you most excited about? Share your thoughts and questions in the comments below. Stay curious, stay inspired, and until next time, keep looking up at the wonders of our universe. This is our endless universe, signing off.